they could not double off the point guard from Magnolia. He just opened up so many things on offense for the San Miguel Beerman game five. It's amazing to have a player like that on your bench just sitting there as Juman Fajardo starts this game off with a jump shot. He was not able to score a single point in the entire series and then turns around gets four triples in the first half so those 15 points in game five. They posting up now. CJ Perez already digging. Sangalang with a nice pass inside. De La Rosa responds. Yeah. You see the pressure defense coming from the guards of Magnolia. Oh, they allow Halalo to attack inside as he connects on back to back buckets. Halalo on another jumper, another make. Six points early for Gio. And that jump shot is falling for Gio early in this game. This is what Coach Tito wanted a great start for his team. Benny Boat Ride facing off against Tyler Bay. Oh, Halalo. Almost getting the steal. Good cut from CJ. He spins away. Fajardo, soft touch from the mid-range. Tyler Bay has been efficient from three in the past two games. Misses his first look. CJ, leak out. Did not catch it clean. Does not matter one bit. As Coach Chito will not be happy with that. He does not want to give San Miguel the edge as far as fast break points are concerned. Well, there's a mismatch. CJ Perez trying to defend Bay. Sangalang takes the shot to the outside. Tyler Bay for the shoot. Bay goes to Paul Lee for three. Money. Two fouls now. That's Baroka uh, and CJ Perez. Baroka played him. One full speed man or prepaid for 300 pesos. Strike that for 88555. Or visit your nearest signal dealer. Abueva attacks and scores inside. In game three and four, overconfidence and eagerness took them away from those victories. So tonight, that shouldn't be the case at all. The conversation Coach George had with the Beermen before game six was simple. And I quote CJ Perez, Bay, and Abueva combining to get the takeaway. Ian Sangala with a forward pass, and Tyler Bay with a finish. It's a two-handed jab a celebration just yet. He wants to lead Magnolia get a win here. What a spin from Benny yeah. Boatwright. Beautiful move there coming from Boatwright. Magnolia's getting? Oh, they're getting shots right near the basket. And they've missed a couple of them, but they're getting good looks at the hoop. Great move there by Boatwright. De La Rosa, second time to play in this ball game after starting as the Puebla sits. Good pass. Fajardo scores. Rebound picked up by De La Rosa as they finally claim the stop. Bay with a push shot, it's good on the bank. One on one against Boat Ride. He goes to the crossover. Almost a travel there. Halalon attacks baseline. Sneaky pass. Sangalang scores. That's good request for their first time out of this ball game. Wow, what a pass. Threading the needle was Gio Halalon to get going, but he beats them with a blow by, misses the layup though. Rebound picked up by Paul Lee. Paul Lee on the move, goes to the Euro step, and the layup is gorgeous. That he has played on his special day, and it was back when he was with Rainer Shine in 2014 and 2015, and tonight with Magnolia this time around. But interestingly enough, in all those games, it was actually against the San Miguel Pyramid, and in those two games, he has won against them. So tonight, you can see that there is some motivation for Paul to get this in the bag and force a game seven. Only time will tell. Carlo Koshulman, Norman, back to you guys. Thank you. As Benny brings the ball down for the Beerman. Good pass to Boat Ride. Oh, they got to it. Given the left side, nice pass. Kick out to Trolliano. Defense staying solid. Trolliano gathers and converts. Pretty good play there by Sangala. 31-27. Oh, Junmar converts from deep. Usually when he misses his first, he's done for the day. Good seal. Oh, nice recovery there on the block from Dernicio. Trolliano for three. It's good for the San Miguel Beerman. Turn around, Jay. No. Abueva with the board. Calvin on the attack. Extra pass. Dernicio converts on the layup. High ball game once again. Gio Halalo calling for the horns. Russell Escoto and Sangalang will serve as his picks. Gio was hot earlier. And he has definitely cooled off after that quick start. Ian Sangalang, though, continues to pour in the points. He has six already. 
Okay, he's been used to playing against big guys his entire life since college. So he's giving Jumar a little bit of a challenge out there on the floor. More than any other position, there is a dip in the performance of Magnolia when Sangalang is subbed out as Bay gets another big time block here. Halalo pushing. And that's going to be goaltending. Goes to CJ. Perez now has it. Good entry pass, but an even better swipe from Gio. As they get another steal off of Jumar. Halalon drops it off. Sangalang scores. For Ian Sangalang sharing is caring for Magnolia. That has been the theme for them. They now have 11 assists in, in 16. Main. Being hounded by Jericho Cruz. Uses the Sangalang screen. Ian goes inside. Turns, turns nice. again. Ooh. Layup doesn't bite. One more try. Sangalang gets a foul and hits the bucket. You can see how much slower the Magnolia offense was on that last play as both Baroka and Halalon are on the bench right now. And it was Paul Lee running the point guard position for Magnolia after Halalon's 11. Cruz against Abueva. Jericho, good pass inside as June Mar was left unmarked and that by Sangalang. Just quick reactions coming from Jericho Cruz as he made that spin. He saw his teammate wide open. Paul Lee drives. Or finds a way to score. Well, Jumar was asking for a traveling, but I thought that was a pretty good move there by Paul Lee. Paul Lee answering back and reestablishing an eight-point lead for his squad. Cruz, are they looking for Jumar? Yes, they are. Posting up now versus Sangala. Jumar gets an end one. Difficult to be able to control him. He's been like this since his college days back in Cebu. As you see, Sunderland gets him across yep. the arm. Nolan really has to continue to pressure the basketball, you know, really focus in on their defense, turn their defense into offense. There's a big shot from Baroka. One of those moves that, as you said earlier, they make coaches look like absolute geniuses. Paul Lee with a drive and kick, just entering this ball game. CJ Perez, you need a big time bounce back water coming from him and he starts off with that end one gets off to a very good start here in the third quarter speed advantage clear foul lefty layup is good off the bank it was coach landing i think uh, okay <laughs> boy lee for three that's good and that high ball screen action with Paul Lee is causing all sorts of problems for San Miguel Beer. Yeah, he comes off and he gets that handoff and they turn that handoff right into a pick and roll. And so far, Lee has been able to take advantage. CJ wants the counter and he gets it. Everything is going through Paul Lee at this moment. CJ could not finish. Apueva with another board. He dribbles into trouble, loses the basketball. Bay was not in the picture as Boatwright converts on the layup. A little too careless there was Calvin Abueva forcing the issue. Sangalang goes underneath. They will turn the ball over once again. Ross pushing, but the defense is already there. Oh, Tautua left and Mark. Yet only their fourth team foul. Paul Lee just not staying in front of Mo Tautua there. Yeah. Trying to attack the ball screen defense of Junmar Fajardo. Halalon, his pass goes to Bay, needs to shoot. He launches and rattles it home. That was a big shot there by Bay. Good pass coming from Halalon. He looked like he was in big trouble, but he made the right play. Oh, Bay with a denial. Paul Lee sends it to Gio. They have the numbers. Halalon leaves it for Paul Lee, who scores on the break. And another set, look at this emergency pass from Gio. He was going absolutely nowhere until he found Tyler Bay. Into a great play as Bay makes the three-point shot. You've got to love this here. The last second pass by Alalon with an easy two points to Paul Lee. Last couple of possessions remaining here. Tyler Bay on the move. Issues a pass to Tronisha for two. 12 minutes of play. Can Magnolia hang on to this advantage? Barroca. Comes up short, Trolliano with the board. A good challenge there coming from Jumar Fajardo on that shot. Chris Ross left open and he converts his second three-point shot of the game. And you always think you can give Chris Ross that shot, but then he starts making them and he makes you pay. Barroca, Lee, Jonisio, Sangalang, and Bay is 
You're fire for Coach Chito Victolero. Ian inside, fakes. Ian to his strong side, gets this one to drop. Boatwright has it now up top versus Bay. Tunmar provides the screen. There's a switch on the Boatwright, sets it up, throws for three. It's good! This was that pass, long closeout coming from Calvin, not enough to bother Jericho Cruz. Carlo and Coach Norman, we always see the emotions of Jericho Cruz come through every time he is on the floor playing for the beer men. According to Jericho, oftentimes people interpret these emotions with something negative, when in fact he describes it as just playing with so much passion. Yeah, very aggressive defensively right now, I'm talking about the San Miguel beer men. Tyler Bay sends it out to Ian. De La Rosa uses the rim to protect the shot. Smart move from Rome. Great ball movement for the Magnolia team. DJ, can he catch fire once again like he did in the third quarter? Ross to Perez, open for three. That's good. Yeah, Magnolia's going to have to play this one out because San Miguel really is still in this basketball game. Halalon gambled for the steal, and it just opened up for CJ. Abueva with a pass, stolen by Boatwright. San Miguel, they have the numbers here. Boatwright will force the issue. He attacks, comes up short, easy pickup. In that third quarter, two of them here in the fourth. De La Rosa finds himself open, and he converts from the corner. You can see the screen there. I think it was by Paul Lee. Yep. Barroca. His pass stolen by CJ Perez. He's off and running. CJ challenges Bay, misses boat ride. Oh, lost the ball on the way up. One more try for Benny's good. Yeah, not giving up on the play, getting that offensive rebound and finishing the two points. Seven point advantage. Three possession lead, Barroca. Floors the defense of Perez. Tyler Bay takes the three. Attacks closer. Sets up Sangalang. And that's a setup. That was done perfectly. That's correct. Against De La Rosa. This was a mismatch earlier in the third quarter. Ross open for three. Could not knock it down. Cruz wins the rebounding battle and sends it home on the putback. Good call by the ref. Paul Lee. His pass stolen. Boat right. Moving downhill, CJ scores the layup. And then the effort once again, getting the touch on it, getting the deflection was CJ Perez. That was his third steal of the ball game for Benny Boatwright Perez. He draws a double team. The pass to Ian Sangalang, he's in trouble. Kicks it out, Paul Lee for three. Yes, oh! goal! What a big shot by Paul Lee. Oh, but he did reach in. He's going to be called for the foul. What a shot by Paul Lee. The defense was right there in his face. CJ against Abueva. Perez with a two-step, and he scores on the lefty layup. Give half those points to Jumar Fajardo, who sealed his man to open up the lane for CJ. Seal screen for the Kraken. As we're down to our final two minutes, it's a four-point lead for Magnolia, 98-94. Abueva lost the ball. Cruz with a deflection. Here we go with San Miguel. Boat right. Logan Cruz open for three. Yes! yes! I mean, it's a one point game after this triple coming from Jericho Cruz. Tremendous all game long. CJ Ross for the lead. Yes! yes! Good! They give the three to Chris Ross and he fires it in. San Miguel Beer. To keep hanging on, stay within striking distance. The ball screen action with Jumar Perez, the BPC for three. Oh, yes! Yes! And CJ Perez, it's a two possession lead for the Beerman. He's looking for his options. Halalon, his pass goes to Ian. Sangalang hesitating. Aris Dionisio open for three. That yes. keeps him in the game. Now they'll have to foul. They're down by one. They're going to have to foul. You might as well foul as soon as possible. See so if a lot of time left. But decision time here. Do you take the entire 24? Bay will be the inbounder. They'll have to send it long. They send it forward. Dionisio for the win. No! San Miguel Beer for the 29th time in history. 
champions of the PBA.